Hello, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner, and today I'm going to be reviewing Mallows by Perseus Archimanes. Oh yeah, that. Oh no, I've done that. <laughs> oh, I forgot I was recording this live for a second. I was going to press the button that made the Real Magic Review sting come up, but uh, sting come, sting, sting come up. Yeah. Um, so welcome. This is a last minute live, and I'm going to do a load of these short. He says reviews of stuff I saw at Blackpool because I promised I'd do that and I've got all this stuff from Blackpool and I kind of went oh yeah I'll do review that and then came back and forgot that I'd got a family a show to get together in the next three weeks which is already together of course and uh, <laughs> and, uh, and loads of other stuff to do so I'm not going to be able to sort of sit down and edit that's why I'm on a little table and it's all weird but there you go I'm going to have a little a little drink out of my real magic review uh, you'll hear my voice is completely knackered again. And might, if you're here, let me know. Um, I wasn't expecting anybody to come here as usual because there was no, this wasn't put out anywhere or advertised or, or anything. So um, let me know if you're there. But this is the first of the these short ones I'm going to do. This is Mallows by Perseus Archimanes. Now I reviewed Medusa um, and oh, Bottle, which I loved from Perseus. Uh, Orion Magic Productions. And I really, really like his stuff. And this felt different from him. A lot of it, most of his um, stuff, a serious is the wrong word, because it's still fun, but you know what I mean? He's a big thinker. He, like, he likes meaning. And when he presents magic, it's very meaningful. And he showed uh, me and uh, my partner, Helen, a trick at Blackpool. And it was just so lovely. We were standing there and he, he kind of, it's very seldom I get to be a spectator in that situation where you're in a couple and somebody's sort of telling a story with a card trick and it was lovely. So this felt quite different because it's still fun, um, but it, I can see where it's come from now. So what this is, this is, uh, and you, you won't see the pink quite so well and the white because of the, the light in here. It's weird sort of tungsten. But this is an alternative to Spongebob Magic. Now, I'm a massive fan of Spongebob Magic. I know some people get sniffy about it, but I really love it. It never fails to get a response. Um, and that's kind of why Perseus has, has started this, I suppose. Um, has started this, come up with this. So this is, you know, it's a Spongebob set, really, but with marshmallows. Now... It's more than meets the eye, really. So the first thing is to say, some people go, oh, no, sponge balls are fine. And I think they're fine as well. But I, I can see what he means with his style and with sometimes my style. Sometimes some gigs I do, sponge balls don't really fit. Now, these might not fit either if it's a dead, dead serious thing. But they, they do have more meaning. And it's really weird because they're not meant to... You're not meant to say these are real marshmallows. People know they're not. But they do feel different to perform with and to watch. And they handle differently. And they're, they're kind of symbolic. So you're sort of saying, you know, marshmallows, and you can talk about nostalgia. There's loads more scope for stories because they are actual things. Like, sponge balls aren't things, are they? And again, they look fun and they look great, but they look fun. And these look fun. They're a little bit more, I don't know, they feel better to use. And, and, it's, and I wasn't, as soon as I started playing with these, and I, I've, I've shown people, I haven't got footage of me performing them, but, you know, we've all seen sponge ball routines and you can do the same routines. Now... The, it comes with, it comes in a, this lovely bag that looks like a marshmallow bag, and I know it does because my son said I was gutted when I saw it was a magic trick. He picked them up and he was going to nick them. So it comes with a bag, and they all come in there. You get these four white, big white ones, one big pink one. Again, that does look more pink. It looks sort of white on here because um, the light, a little pink one, and two white ones. And these are great. You can do, and I'm sure, you know, I'm not exposing anything, but you can do kind of, he's got a lovely routine on there, which is a copper silver routine where they hold one and you change this one and, and they change places. Loads of that sort of stuff. He's got stuff with kind of, you know, sort of these sort of switches. I can't do that very well. But there you go, because I haven't practiced it enough there. But they feel great. And he's, the comes with this written um, thing, written thing, this lovely written instruction booklet, which gives you one routine and I thought oh, that's, that's that's so good suddenly got the munchies they look delicious they do don't they um it comes with a lovely routine but I, it didn't read it read okay and I even said to Percy I said I don't think I'll do one but is there more on the download and, and he's like yeah and the download's like an hour long the download has got loads of routines in it the copper silver all kind of original routines but then at the end it's, it's like 40 minutes of that and then at the end it's got the normal 
sponge ball slides. So if you don't know them, you've got the slides. So you can do all the classic stuff with, so you've got everything on that download in an hour. So it's great. There's no fluff on it, so to speak. So that's all there is to say about the actual things. You know, there's all this, you know, the little ones obviously are for loads and the same as they would be in a, um, in a sponge ball routine. But it's got this nice thing where, you know, you do the classic thing of putting it in there, grabbing that one, they go and they go to the other person's hand. And then the last one, they open their hand and there's two of them and there's two little ones or one little one. You can basically tell a story about them having a kid or something like that, but it can be quite surreal and quite quirky. There's loads of scope. And like I said, they're based on real things. And when I work with them, they do, f I just really like them. And I don't really know why. Incidentally, the routine in here is, is uses the bag. The bag is used for a couple of things and it read so much better than it, no, it, it looked so much better than it read. So when I said, oh, I don't mean I'll do that, I'm now looking at it thinking, oh, it, what a wasted opportunity. And basically what happens is, if I can remember rightly, you keep changing the white to the pink, putting the pink one, and then the white to the pink, putting the pink one, and you put all the pink ones in here, tip them back out, and they're uh, real ones. They're, they're real marshmallows. So you've got them kind of in the bag. In the bag, again, it's quite clever because it's, it's quite tight fitting, which means you can do certain things with this that you wouldn't be able to if the bag was a bit bigger when it when i first got it i was like oh it's a bit tight in there but actually that there's a reason for that um the i want to get the name wrong uh miller mitova has made all of these it's a colleague of Perseus's uh, by hand with scissors and he said she's broken like three pairs of scissors on them so they are a limited run again when i say stuff like that it sounds a bit salesy doesn't it i'm not affiliate i don't get anything for this other than some lovely mellows um but they're a limited run and when they're gone they're gone apparently they might make more but they take an all awful long time to make and the only place you can get them is Orion Magic Productions they're not sold through dealers well I don't think they will be in the future but don't don't quote me on that um again they're not they're not cheap you know because they are all handmade so like 50 bucks for a set but they're going to last forever he said you know they're easily washable and all that and you, I, I just think they're lovely and you know I think that if you're somebody that that works a lot or you know has different audiences and you want something that doesn't feel like sponge balls but still feels fun it's not like a serious thing then they're great i've just thought of another routine on there which i really liked has it gone again um oh there's yeah where you tip out loads of little marshmallows as well and there's one where you take a um i think it's is it at the end of the copper silver i can't remember but you take the the pink one and the white one that's no, called split i think and you keep splitting them putting them back together i might be merging two routines here but anyway the final production is one of those marshmallows that is pink and um white so it's like a, almost like a, a copper silver coin do you, do you see what i mean so it's you, you've got to buy the marshmallows the real ones yourself by the way but that's not a problem is it so lovely great stuff loads you can do with it loads more than you think you can do with it they feel really nice they're really nicely made they feel good in the hands and there's lots more meaning and i don't mean meaning as in you've got to get really heavy but they just feel like there's more you can say when you're doing them rather than is a little one is a little one and again i do a lot of that so i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that okay so that's the end of the review uh, please use the links below uh, if you've got any questions now um i'll do them now but then i will go off because i want to make these these shorter and not go on for 20 minutes like i do in some of the live ones i will be here on thursday live hopefully if things it's really full on i'm in turmoil at the moment if you always to spin the camera around it's nuts like there's, there's not i've put the table away there's just it's, it looks like a, i've been burgled basically it looks like someone's broken in and just ran ransacked the, the place um so my voice is going <laughs> gosh um so uh i would not have associated this product with orion magic productions from gert jan uh Seg sorry that's going to be awful pronunciation but a nice release yeah i felt like that but then when you watch it you realize actually yeah because that's what he does he he puts meaning into things and what why do we have to be serious all the time we can have and when you see him perform it, it he's got a lovely style he, he you know it's it's um uh i'll just read that i'm not gonna even finish that sentence <laughs> are they obviously not marshmallows when you see them up close yeah so they're not saying that if you're on stage with someone you can just not mention it and you know i don't think it matters but as he said he, he says in a couple of his routines you know i, I made these little marshmallows because i love marshmallows you know he, he talks about them but even if they're not real 
it doesn't matter that they're not that's not the trick if you see what i mean they're they're clearly sponge it's a spongeable routine but it's a symbolism and 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 again they just the vanishes feel really really nice and i'm just don't know what that is um <laughs> Right, I don't want anyone to eat one. No, no, they're very, sorry, yes, they're very obviously not. No, no one's going to eat one of them. They're, 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 they're clearly um, sponges. Uh, tasty ideas, certainly got the munchies, they look delicious, brilliant. Right, so there's that. Please um, like and subscribe, share this. You know, watch the short, I put a couple of shorts on um, and I'm putting more magic on Instagram now. So that's at Steve Faulkner on Instagram. Have a look at the reels, have a look at my reels on Facebook and all that. Uh, the best pronunciation of my name by an Englishman. Yay, I always try. Oh, thank you. Uh, nice one. And uh, go and check out onlinemagic.co. I forgot to say that at the beginning. Go and have a look at that. I could do with some more members because I haven't got many gigs at the moment. <laughs> I'm working on the show. So that's a good, that's a good thing, isn't it? Check out onlinemagic.co so I don't have to sell me out. That's my tagline. <laughs> right. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much. I'll be doing loads of these. So... Oh, make sure you got the little bell icon um, so you get the, the, the uh, notifications. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.